Recently I am into quick and easy recipes. Today I have come with the easiest paneer recipe that needs no chopping of onions, nor ginger, nor garlic, no stirring required, but it is so very delicious. Namaskar and welcome to Curries with Bumbi. Let's start with the hardest part of the recipe. Blend a jar out, add a teaspoon of mustard seeds, 2 tablespoons of white poppy seeds that is kashkash in Hindi. It is available at any Indian grocery store. But if it is unavailable at your place then soak about 5 cashew nuts in hot water for about an hour. Then use it. This is grated frozen coconut. I have used 2 tablespoons. 2 tablespoons of plain unflavored yogurt. A green chili. About a teaspoon of salt and 4 tablespoons of water. Now blend everything to a smooth paste. Ok Bumbi, why am I seeing a pan? You said there won't be any stirring required. So why not doing as promised? Well my friends, the paneer that I buy from my Indian grocery store is always kept frozen. So I prefer warming it up for just about 2 minutes. It's like waking up the paneer from its frozen slumber. But if you buy fresh paneer then do not even bother to do this. Or just skip this step even if you are using frozen ones. I added about a fourth of a teaspoon of red chilli powder before the oil turned hot. And just gave a quick stir for about 2 minutes. And if you are wondering why so much of water that's because I thawed out my frozen paneer, but I won't wait for the water to evaporate. Just 2 minutes of stirring is good. At the end, sprinkle some salt and freshly ground black pepper. And that's done. Now I will be using this to steam my paneer. These kind of tiffin boxes are very commonly used in India. And even this went inside my suitcase when I first came to the US with a bottle of lemon pickle that my ma had packed inside this stiffen box. You can use any container except plastic ones. Ok, add just a teaspoon of oil to coat the bottom of the box. I am using mustard oil, but you can use any oil of your choice. Being a person from West Bengal, that is a region in the eastern part of India, I love using mustard oil. Add all the paneer along with all that water that has come out from the paneer. Uh-uh, nothing goes to waste when it comes to Bumbi's kitchen. Then turmeric powder, the mustard poppy seed and coconut paste. And as you can see, there is so much of paste still there in the blender jar. And if I waste that, then I will get a heart attack now. So better to get all that goodness by rinsing with water. I used half a cup of water. Now mix with very gentle hands and here I do a very weird thing. I do a little taste test to check the seasonings. You will definitely get that sharp mustardy flavor but do not get alarmed by its pungency because that's how mustard tastes. Then I added a sprinkle of sugar to balance the flavors. Last but not the least, a red or a green whole chili and again 2 teaspoons of oil on top. Cover the box and that's the hardest part of the recipe. I promise. Next coming to the steaming part, take a large pot, add a trivet or you can even use a metal lid of any jar or a large cookie cutter. I boiled some water in my electric kettle and added it to the pot. Place the box on the trivet and make sure the water is way down the lid of the box. The water should just be near to the base. Then cover on medium heat till the water comes up to a boil. Then lower the heat to medium low and steam it for 7 to 8 minutes. After 7 minutes, lid off, switch off the heat of your stove and allow it to cool down until it is comfortable enough to handle. And then open the lid and you will be greeted with this magical bright yellow goodness. Sprinkle some coriander leaves and enjoy this incredibly delicious paneer with some hot steamed rice. If this is not easy, then I don't know what is. And look at the thick gravy. Seems like you had to sweat so much for making this. 
but only you know the secret. Please smash that like button for me and please do leave a comment. Bye-bye.